Mayong adlaw mga bay Bong kahes of this duck sa Luzon here This video mga bay We will be reviewing Climb Creus Pro helmet mga bay After one year of use This helmet mga bay Is actually the pinnacle of all adventure helmet Why? Please watch this Since riding mga bay is already our passion, we should have the highest or the maximum protection para sa head natin mga bay. No brainer, helmet is very important. We should invest helmet mga bay na premium because it's our head that we're going to protect. But of course, we need also to evaluate if the price is worth the protection na kailangan natin. Alright, let's talk about the front face of this helmet mga bay. This visor is fully convertible. So, pwede mo itong tanggalin. May pinlock lang to. Just flip it down. So, matanggal na tong visor mo, mga bay. So, pwede mo siyang gamit, gamitin din sa high speed. Currently, may dalawa siyang angle, mga bay. Um, lower angle tong naka-set up sa akin ngayon. This one, mga bay, the windshield. Inclusive na sa package, mga bay, na transition lens. Ibig sabihin, during daytime and um, the sun is up, Mag-dark yan siya mga bay. And when the sun is down, matically mag-clear din yan siya mga bay. So it's either daytime or nighttime, you can use this lens mga bay. As you can notice mga bay, the lens is very wide. Therefore, no restriction relative to your peripheral vision mga bay. Siyang finger knob na easier for a rider to close and open the, the lens mga bay. Meron siyang angle of ventilation also. Yan. And over here, this is air vent mga bay. A massive of intake of air mga bay. Push down to close the vent and push up to open the vent. Then, there is also a vent up here mga bay. Sa taas. Meron din siyang exhaust vent sa likod mga bay. So, sa front, papasok ang hangin. Dito sa likod, naman, lalabas ang hangin. So, fresher air sa loob ng helmet, mga bay. Basically, mga bay, the shell of this helmet, mga bay, is carbon fiber, mga bay. So, ibig sabihin, super duper lightweight. Talking about the weight of this helmet, it's around 1.3 kilogram. The weight matter because you have to imagine riding around 3, 6 hours or even 8 hours then meron kang pasan-pasan na helmet na mabigat definitely you will feel it sa neck mo mga bay but for this one mga bay I guarantee you wala kang ma-feel para ka lang nagsuot ng sombrero nito mga bay let me show you the game changer mga bay the feedlock system of this helmet mga bay is yun it's just a magnet But you cannot even you cannot pull it, mga bayo. So ibig sabihin safer for the motorist, mga bay. But just remember this red cloth, mga bay. Ganyan lang ka easy. Ito ang game changer ng helmet nato, mga bay. So with gloves on, this is very useful, mga bay. Itong system nato. So assuming nakalimutan mo mga bay, all you have to do is lessen the click mga bay. There. Talking about the certification of this helmet mga bay, it's approved by DOT or Department of Transportation in US and ECE 22-05 mga bay. So it's more inclined ang helmet mga bay for adventure and touring rides mga bay. And another na features of this helmet mga bay is the Coroid technology. If you can notice mga bay dyan sa loob ng um, neon color na material mga bay. That's the Coroid mga bay. Coroid mga bay is the ultimate damage control mga bay as they mentioned. It's a honeycomb configuration mga bay. Ibig sabihin Maraming air sa loob ng helmet also mga bay. So aside from it absorb 78% of the impact force mga bay, 
it also store a lot of air, mga bay. Thus, make the whole helmet cooler compared to others, compared to EPS, compared to Styropor. It absorb 48% more than sa mga absorb ng mga EPS, mga bay, or sa mga conventional na mga, or sa mga traditional na mga helmets, mga bay. So what else? Ang inner lining nito, mga bay, is uses this material. Um, Velcro type already So it's easy to fill up Talking about the downside of this helmet mga bay The helmet has no provision for uh, Communication device speakers mga bay But there is a Cord inside The lining Wherein you can place the Speakers of your communication device Like for example In this helmet mga bay Normal sa mga helmet Na Noisy This helmet also a bit noisy, especially pag high speed. Thus, yung iba, gumagamit ng airplug. Um, but for me, it's tolerable, mga bay, ang noise niya. As mentioned, it's certified for touring and adventure only. So, um, most of the riders complain is pag may visor, ang helmet is nagbabibrate ang, ang helmet. So, normal sa lahat ng mga adventure helmets na magbabibrate talaga in high speed. Talking about the price, mga bay, of this helmet, um, it's around $650 to $700. Of course, depende yan sa currency. But here in the Philippines, you can source this helmet in Motohab, Philippines. So as you can notice, mga bay, after one year of use sa helmet na to, mga bay, there's no such um, noticeable na mga wear and tear, mga bay. So generally, mga bay, parang brand new pa rin ang dating. Is it worth the price, mga bay? Well, as mentioned, as, as shown, all the features in here, I think it is. And bottom line, mga bay, it's your head that you're going to protect. Hope that you subscribe, comment, and share the channel. Peace, Dr. Luzon.